Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. You'll notice a new layout and a whole bunch of new stuff, but that's actually not what I'm doing right now. We're going to fight the Elite Four in this episode, but I'm actually not up to doing it right now. But first, I'm going to show you three things that I will want to do before going to the Elite Four. And you wouldn't you'd probably guess this, but they are all moves that I need. The first one is right in Sutapelus Pokemon Center. I believe it's this young lady over here. Get out! Get Said really, la la la, also means, uh... He's got a pill with a double edge. Please let me teach your Pokemon to move double edge. Well, why not? She can only teach it to one Pokemon, and I'm going to give it to the one that needs the physical attack the most. Because Slash sucks. And there he goes. Also, I may or may not be more into this commentary, at least in the beginning few parts, than normal because of the fact that I have no headphones on. My sister borrowed them and I don't couldn't find any replacement earbuds, so I have to go without for now. Anyway, just go ahead and surf, gotta throw up a repel here, and make sure I don't get interrupted by any of the random Magikarp. And uh, those are Pokeballs, those are not repels. These, however, are repels. Yes, I bought a whole bunch off screen. And we oh damn we speed of function, thank you. And anyway you go up here. Up here, up here, and over here. See this guy who's randomly just sitting here? 30 years, I remained here sitting in a developed Shattering TM. TM31! Put away the TM, and it contains Brick Break. So horrible he can't even describe it. It's a good fighting type move that shatters, reflects, and light screens. And since Blaziken there, Seltzer, we will not be getting his next fighting type move until level 59, which is pretty bullshit, I'm gonna give it to him right now. And I'll explain all the nicknames and all the new things and when I go back to the Pokemon League before I go to the next episode, too. Next part of the episode, rather. I can't talk today. Alright, the next thing I need to do is over near Meteor Falls. It's actually in Meteor Falls, so we'll go to Fall Arbor Town. And, uh, yeah. Over here... yes. We speed up. Woo! Anyway, head down here, and go all the way to, uh, Meteor Falls. You remember where Meteor Falls is, right? And go the other way. And... There is actually, I think, two trainers to fight along the way, and both of them have Dragon-type Pokémon, so... If you're not prepared, you gotta be careful. I'm also not entirely sure on their levels, which is fantastic, so... They could either be incredibly challenging or incredibly easy, so... You need Surf and Waterfall to do this. Do do do. Just head over here, and don't run off the edge like me. Surf here. Well, crap, I forgot Gyarados. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, we're back. Finally, uh, I can't believe I forgot to bring Gyarados with me. Anyway, let's head up the waterfall. Come on, there we are, and just run through here. And we are in Meteor Falls. Not much more we can do here. You see these like, little ledges here. You have to jump down those to continue. Uh, just do one of these, and head up this ladder. Always battle Pokemon together, confident in ourselves, yay! Level 39 Hariyama, level 39 Medicham, easy enough. And we apparently, they apparently want my number. Well, fantastic for you. 50 years of marriage, ever argued, settled... Really? You settle arguments with Pokemon battles? That seems like animal abuse to me. Anyway, this guy will also want to fight. Dragon users do our training. This should be fun. Even the champion visits. Now do you see how special it is here? Don't you mean former champion? A level 9, uh, not 9, not 9, level 39 and level 37, Altaria. Both of them just took a couple of dragon breaths. And a Kichu, uh, Kitsushima grew to level 54 in that fight, which is awesome. I'll detail the rest of my changes when I get to them, so let's just do one of these, 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 and do not jump over that one, because then you'll miss the item. And here we are, we just go like this. You can also find Iron Tail in this cave, but... I don't find much use for it. If I want to use Iron Tail, usually it's on a Pokemon that already knows it. And I'm pretty sure... It, I can't remember if it's this room or the one way in back. But you can um, find uh, Bagon in only two rooms in this cavern. And Bagon is what you do to get Salamence, one of my favorite dragons of all time. But since I'm already using a dragon on my team, there's no point in me having another one. So I will meet you guys at the Pokemon League, and I can finally detail all the changes that I've made. I've made quite a few of them. See you guys there. We.
Alright guys, we are back at the Pokemon League. About damn time too. I had a headache earlier, which is the reason why I really stopped recording earlier. Anyway, you may notice the new layout. I finally get to explain this. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure when this is releasing. It's probably releasing after I update it, my Pokemon Heart Gold series, but I also have a new layout for that. Uh, I was gifted a layout for Pokemon Emerald and Black, which you both, which you saw both of in my testing videos, and I recently got my hands on Photoshop, so I decided to slightly redo my current uh, layout for Emerald just for the um, the next few videos since the series isn't that much further. It's basically the Elite Four, Groudon, Kyogre, uh, Rayquaza, Gym Leader rematches, Elite Four rematches, and that's it. That's the rest of the series, honestly. Because a lot of the stuff that's optional in this game, like getting the other Lottie, uh, it requires a mystery gift thing that I'm not sure you can cheat in a GBA, so anyway. Might as well explain these new nicknames. I figured since these are the guys I'm going to delete four with, they get nicknames. Anyway, El Marinin, a Finnish folklore, he's also known as the Eternal Hammerer, said to be able to create anything in existence and is also mortal. But like all deities, they need to have some sort of drawback, and El Marin's uh, thing was that he was always unlucky in love. And I figured, that fits Agron. I mean, it's kind of hard for a beastly thing that has horns protruding out of its face and is wearing metal armor. It's kind of hard for him to make sweet, sweet live. Anyway, uh, Galanthus uh, really would have worked better if Linon was female since it's about a woman in Greece. It's a Greek myth. Galanthus attempted to interrupt the birth of um, Her Her um, Hercules, Jesus Christ, I couldn't say that name, as a favor to uh, uh, Yermathes, I think her name was, and then Hera punished her by turning her into a weasel. And since Linon is a weasel that hunts like a cheetah, I figured it'd be better to give it a weasel name, so... And anyway, Glacier is from Norse mythology. It is said to be the most beautiful tree in existence, and that it was, blooms with golden leaves year-round, and it's said to um, be seen around the entrances to Valhalla. So yeah, that's nice. And uh, off-screen, I did not teach Akitsushima. Uh, I gotta learn to pronounce my own nicknames correctly. I did not give him a uh, Dragon Claw, so let's go ahead and do that right now. If you notice that my audio seems a bit different, um, I didn't edit anything with my uh, noise removal settings. What I did is I found my old pop filter from my Blue Yeti, and since I'm using the same stand, I decided, hell, I might as well throw the pop filter back on, see if it'll work well with the Blue Snowball, so... Well, at least with the Blue Snowball, I definitely know the pop filter fits the entire area, so yeah. Any hoozle. I'm still playing without headphones since the person who borrowed my headphones still is not back yet. Went to Philly today, and... Why would you ever go to Philly? The only reason she went to Philly was because she was visiting a friend of hers that she hasn't seen in a while. Anyway, I just went through that entire scene because I couldn't hear it. I didn't hear any of the music. I couldn't do any of my normal musical cues like da na 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 or whatever the hell. So yeah, sorry about no musical cues. We're about to fight some dude. And the door smashes shut behind us. We are trapped. What if we had second thoughts right here upon seeing this guy's sweet mohawk? Like seriously. He is Sydney, and he immediately likes the look we're giving him. Hey, dude, nice mohawk. Anyway, he's not even going to tell you what he has, but I'll let you know right now, he has dark types. And dark types are shit, in this game at least. Unfortunately, the one he leads off with is going to be able to tank a hit. I re-recorded this once, so... Anyway immediately intimidate, so that's actually why I lit off with a Kuchima, so I can just switch. <laughs> Screw Mighty Yenna's slightly tankishness. Yeah, I recorded this once, but for some reason... Oh, wow, not leading off with a sand attack. That's weird. Uh, yeah, for some reason, Beta Cam decided that would be a good time to suddenly unregister itself. So I had to email them and say why the hell is Bandi... Like, why am I getting a Bandi a bandy cam URL on the top of my video and they said, oh, that means it's unregistered. I'm like, no, I paid for it. Register it back up. Luckily, that didn't take too long. They just needed to re-register my email address, so that's nice. No, I want to keep you out there for Shift Tree. There we are. Shift Tree is a grass type that's also a dark type, so you can use either ice, flying, bug, bug does times four, fire, all that fun stuff, blaze kick, one hit KO, Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and level 54. Give me those sweet, sweet stats. Wow, plus three in defense. Wow, that's new. Okay, Absol is next. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like Sweet Pitch right here. 
Well, not really sweepage, but... Go ahead and throw the brick break there. Pew, pew, kapew, and will this Oko Absol? Absol is squishy enough for an Oko. I don't even know what Absol's ability is. Probably Hypercutter, honestly. Okay, Crawdont. Yes, that one I get a switch for. Crawdont is a water type. Also a dark type, obviously. If you couldn't tell, Sydney specializes in dark types. But Crawdont does not have very good defenses. And its main stat, its attack stat, is almost completely worthless in this game, since Dark, I think, is still a special attack in this game. And they didn't do the split yet until the next generation, so... He probably has Crunch and Crab Hammer, both would do lower damage than if they were, say, in one generation ahead. That makes Crawdon a lot more dangerous, trust me. And give me that sweet, sweet experience. And Cacturn, oh man, I meant to switch. Oh well, I'll deal with it. Cacturn is also part grass, so as you can imagine, he will be getting the Ice Beam treatment. Cacturn, uh, I've never even used one. I've never seen one used except in the Elite Four. And I'm being serious, it's the only Cacturn I've ever seen any trainer use in any game, so... I'm not really sure what to make of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there was a couple in the XD Gale of Darkness, but... Anyway... Yep, Sydney's not that hard to defeat. Dark types in this game aren't really that good, and they don't get good until, like, Generation 5, honestly, because even Generation 4, they, they weren't that good. Anyway, I don't even need to heal. I might as well heal, so just give me one second. Alright, we are done healing, and we're going to continue on into the next room and fight the next of the Elite Four, but in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, take care.